New tonight, Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson having this embarrassing exchange during a House hearing today. Why is FHA, to, to use a term that I think we can both understand, lousy at servicing mortgages? Okay, I have not had any discussions about that particular issue, but I will look it up, find okay. out what's going on. So, as you look it up, I'd also like you to get back to me, if you don't mind, to explain the disparity in REO rates. Do you know what an REO is? An Oreo? R, no, not an Oreo, uh, uh, an R-E-O, R-E-O. Real, real estate? What's the O stand for? E organization? Owned, real estate owned. That's what happens when a property goes to foreclosure. We call it an REO. Mm -hmm. And FHA loans have much higher REOs. That is, they go to foreclosure rather than to loss mitigation or to non-foreclosure alternatives like short sales than comparable loans at the GSEs. I would be extremely happy if you'd like to have you uh, work with the people uh, who do that. Okay. So the top housing official in the country, that's who Ben Carson is, right? It's not just a person off the street where you're throwing an acronym. It's the top housing official in the country and was asked about foreclosures and thought it was Oreo cookies, making a joke apparently online then, taking a photo with a package of Oreos and tweeting a quote, Oh, Rio, thanks, at Rep. Katie Porter, enjoying a few post-hearing snacks and sending some your way. He also sent her a note. Thanks for your part in today's hearing. Hope you like these Oreos. Well, Democratic Congresswoman Katie Porter is out front. So, um, Congresswoman, uh, let me just uh, go step back to the beginning here. What was your initial reaction to your exchange with Secretary Carson? I was disappointed. I was asking serious questions about serious problems that Americans are facing. Um, the foreclosure rate continues to exist at FHA, and their foreclosure proceedings and processes have been bad for the over 15 years that I've worked on this issue. And so I was really coming with a series of very serious questions, and I was hoping to get serious answers. So uh, obviously he was not familiar with what REOs are. Uh, why is that so important? Why are they so important? And he, of course, is the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Well, one of the things I think we heard from the Secretary today was a lot of effort to dodge questions and say it's the responsibility of Congress or it's the responsibility of lawmakers. But FHA, which is our nation's premier program for lending to particularly first-time home buyers and low-income home buyers, that's 100% within his responsibility. And as a result of these problems with foreclosures and with the conveyance process, with the servicer fees, as a result of that, what we're seeing is that a lot of people are not being able to afford FHA loans because the servicing costs are higher. So this is really ultimately a credit access issue. So so I just showed the tweet where he's now trying to, you know, have fun with the exchange, posing with Oreo, saying he's sending some uh, your way. What's your reaction to that? Did he actually send those to your office? He, he actually sent a family-sized box of or double stuff Oreos to our office. Um, and while I was pleased to receive correspondence from him. What I'm really looking for is answers. So I hope this is the first of a series of things that he sends to my office. And I'm looking forward to receiving substantive answers to how we can better help homeowners who find themselves struggling to make ends meet. So I played your exchange, which was obviously very meaningful on many levels. I also want to play two heated exchanges that the secretary had with your colleague, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. Here those are. Do you believe the substandard public housing conditions pose a risk to tenants' physical, mental, and emotional health? Uh, you already know the answer to that. Yes or no? You know the answer. Yes or no? I know the answer. Do you know the answer? Yes or no? Reclaiming my time. You don't get to do that. No. The time belongs to the gentle lady. Oh. Would you let your grandmother live in public housing? You know very Would well. Would you let your grandmother live in public this. housing, yes or no? You know very well. Under your watch and at your helm, would you allow your grandmother to live in public housing under these conditions? It would be very nice if, if you would stop acting. You st was she out of line and not giving him a chance to truly answer, or was he out of line? Look, I think that she was trying to get an answer to the question, and he could have given her one. And I think part of what we are feeling at the end of a very long hearing is somebody who, like Mr. Carson, Secretary Carson, continued to evade questions. We, she's really asking a pretty straightforward question. It does have a yes or no answer, and so it's unfortunate that he didn't give her one, so the hearing could have moved on to address her substantive concerns. There, there were different tones in the hearing, though, and I, and I want to play uh, his exchange here with two other people, and everyone will understand. And one of these is a man, one is a woman. Here you go. 
All right, so you're going to ship 55,000 children from being with their families uh, to then to a, a homeless status, uh, status. What's going to happen with these children? Have you thought this program through? Well, maybe what will happen with them is that you and Congress will do your job and solve the problem. I think uh, I was disappointed, especially with the negative impacts, understanding that there may be uh, rational reasons for uh, looking at this, but the negative impacts of proceeding with the mortgagee letter before doing a formal rulemaking as had been previously promised. Your point is well taken. They were both Democrats. Obviously, you're a Democrat. Congresswoman Presley is a Democrat. Uh, was there a difference? And, well, and how he handled was. these questions from I, women I think and men? there clearly was. Yeah. Absolutely. There clearly was. And I think that this is something that we saw. And one of the reasons I asked the questions I did in a very kind of low-key factual tone, what is your position on this? What do you know about this? Was I didn't want to escalate the conversation. I wanted to start one. And I think what we saw from Secretary Carson with so many of the questions was an effort to kind of evade and dodge giving answers to the American people, which is the very point of him coming in to testify. So it's nice that he gave Mr. McAdams, my colleague, an answer, but the rest of us on the committee, including the women, the young women, we deserve answers as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Congresswoman Porter. I appreciate your time.